very important to God in the Bible, and that is uh, missionaries. So before we talk about missionaries, we're going to have a word of prayer. Who would like to pray? Okay, come. Jesus' name, we pray for asking and pray for Jesus. In Jesus' name, we amen. Amen. Thank you. So today, I want to tell you a story about a young man who was going to go on a missionary trip. Have you ever heard of a missionary before? No? Missionary is someone who goes on a mission for God, usually to go and share Jesus or the gospel story with others who don't know about Jesus. So this young man was going to take a missionary trip to Africa. Have you ever heard of Africa? Yes, yes, good. So he was going to go on a missionary trip to Africa. He was so excited that he was able to go to Africa with all of his friends. He was planning to go there and to enjoy his time there in Africa. And he put a lot of effort into raising money to go to the trip. And he was able to raise all the money. It cost a lot of money to go to Africa to help people. And when he planned the trip, uh, he got some information that they were going to be leaving very soon. And he prepared to go. And when the day finally came for him to go, he missed his flight to Africa. All of the money that was raised to send him to Africa, and he missed his flight. Well, he learned that they were going to give him another flight. And what happened is they came together and they said, we're going to pray and ask God if they will be willing to change the flight so that you can go to Africa to go there and help other people. So they prayed and then they went to the airline and the airline said, sure, we'll make an adjustment and we'll let you leave the next day. We'll put you on the flight so you can go to Africa on your missionary trip. Now, the important part of this trip, which is what I want to talk to you all about, is on this trip, they said everyone who's going to go on the trip, all the clothes that you are bringing, you're going to bring to give away. Now, did you hear that? Have you ever thought about maybe your favorite dress or your favorite pants or your favorite jacket or your favorite shoes? Well, on this missionary trip, you can bring all the clothes that you want, but you have to give away all of the clothes you bring on the trip. Only the clothes you're going to wear can you keep, but all the other clothes you have to give away. And they wanted them to give away the clothes because where they were going to go, the people were very poor. They didn't have any money. They didn't they didn't have clothes. And most of the people that they met didn't even have shoes. They never owned a pair of shoes. So a lot of people who were going on this missionary trip didn't want to go when they found out that they had to give away all of their clothes. But this young man said, I'm still going to go. And he took some of his favorite clothes to give away. And when he got there, he gave away all of his clothes and he began to be sad. Do you know why he was sad? What do you think? Why do you think he was sad? Um, Well, he was sad because he ran out of clothes to give away. He wasn't sad because he gave away all of his clothes. He was more sad because he didn't have any more clothes to give. So it's important to think about this when we're talking about missionary work and we're taking the opportunity to go forward to help people And for you all, you may not know this, but you know the little baskets that you have there? Those baskets are to collect offering for missions. That means you support missionaries. That means that all those who are giving you money are also supporting missionaries. Now, I want to share a Bible verse with you before we close, because this Bible verse encourages us to support missionaries. I talked to you a little bit about shoes. Do you have your own favorite pair of shoes? Yes? Really? Well, did you know God also believes that it's important to have good shoes? Now, I want to share a Bible verse with you in Romans chapter 10. I'm going to be reading Romans chapter 10, and I'm going to read this verse. And then we're going to have you go around with the baskets to collect an offering. And you're going to give everyone here an opportunity to help someone own a new pair of shoes. What kind of shoes am I talking about? Well, 
Romans chapter 10, the Bible says in verse 13, it says, For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now listen closely. It says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him on whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? This is a Bible verse about a missionary. The Bible says that people will not hear about Jesus unless someone goes to share Jesus with them. And the last verse talks about our feet. Listen closely. Chloe, pay, pay attention. And it says in verse 15, it says, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, listen closely, it says, How beautiful are the feet. Did you hear that? How beautiful are the what? The feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. So when you go forth collecting the offering, you're helping people to put on gospel shoes. The Bible says how beautiful are the feet of them that bring glad tidings of good things. So remember that when you're going forth and you're collecting the offering, you're collecting the offering for missionaries, but also consider for yourselves, you also can be missionaries who will close us in prayer. Okay. Jesus name we pray for Jesus in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Go collect the basket.